Yeah. Um, I just I think you just gotta keep working for it. Huh? Agree, man. You you just gotta keep working no matter what because if if I said that this was it was easy to get her, I I'd be lying because I've had people right. look me dead in my face. Or not even look me in my face and tell me, but overhearing people, people that I care about, people that care care for me and cared about me all my life, and I'll overhear them and be like, well, how's he going to be able to make the music thing happen? Where is he going to get the money to do that? Where is he going to get that? And it, and it hurts, you know what I'm saying? Because, again, people that you you have loved all your life and been with all your life basically think you can't do it. But again, I feel like that was needed in order for me to get to where I'm trying to go because I use that as just a pure motivation, you know. And I know that they didn't mean any, they didn't like Jay Z said they didn't mean any malice behind it. It was just because they haven't ever did anything like that, or maybe they didn't follow their dreams and aspirations. So they was curious how is somebody like him, you know, this this this, this boy that we knew all our life, like how is he going? How is he going to be able to do it? You know, if we couldn't. That's a good. That's a good point. Mm. A lot of people, when they when you tell people about your dreams and you tell people about what you want to do and mm. the change you want to make, yeah, they look at that as well. In their head, they say, "I never personally was able to do that." Mm. So then they go back to you and say, "You're not going to do that," yeah. or "How are you going to do that?" And they put doubt in your head. Mm-hmm. And just because they never did it or they didn't have the creative mindset to mm. accomplish those goals. Uh, doesn't mean they have the right to criticize you wanting to do it That's because right. the difference between you and them is that you're actually going to probably try to do it versus them they probably gave up on it mm. so like you know people when when i you know I'm, I'm still a small youtube channel i don't have much people following me but mm. i have people who do loyally watch my stuff and when i started all this i did it for fun and i still do it for fun mm. but people look at me and say why are you doing that mm. what's the point of that who watches that? Who's going to sit there for an hour and watch your video? Who's going to watch your five-minute videos? Like, what's the point of that? What, why I do that? Mm. I'm like, why not? Why not? Because if I sit around and just watch TV, everybody's okay with that. Because I'm not, I'm not changing anybody's, uh, you know, comfortable, uh, com- uh, you know, the, comfortability. Yeah, for sure, with me. Sure. But then I start making change. I start doing things. You know, even with you, people around you are probably like, "Oh, look! Oh, now I now I got to look at myself and reevaluate what I'm doing because Thanks. he's, you know, Junior's making songs. He's officially he's on he's on Apple Music. Mm-hmm. People are actually following him, and it's not about being cocky and like, look at me, look at what I'm doing. It's the fact that you want to make change, like we were talking about earlier. Sure. And the only way you're going to do that is by making a difference in the beginning. Thanks. And you got to you got to kind of stop listening to people. I'm not saying you are listening. Yeah. I'm saying I kind of that's something I matured with is that I stopped listening to people. Mm. I enjoy making a video and putting it out. And if it gets 10 views or it gets some of my videos get over almost 10,000 views. If it, if it gets either one, I enjoyed making the video regardless. Mm-hmm. Even the even some of my videos are my favorite. They only have like 50 views. Really? One day, you know, they might get more than that. But some of my videos I didn't really care about. They made 10,000 views. So it's all about just putting the work in, not caring about what other people say. And then one day... You'll have a big enough following to eventually accomplish your dreams. Tell me. 